So today we'll show what happens uh, to the Honda's power steering uh, that's stiff or hard. <clears throat> I posted other videos before. Now this is uh, when the car is running it is uh, pretty stiff especially when the car is on idle. Now remember it could be for very various reasons but uh, uh, this particular one is the one that that after you fixed everything, replaced uh, we have replaced new. Uh, we have put new struts, new strut bearings, coils, new control arms, tire rod ends, sway bar links, and uh, bushings. Like uh, inter control arms are new actually. Uh, so what not like and the flush the power steering pump new belt so only two things we didn't change are the power steering pump itself and the rack and pinion so rack and pinion if that's the problem the way to check is when the car is not running uh, and just wiggle the steering wheel like this if it keep going more than this then rack might be faulty or tire rod ends outer or inner tire rod ends might be a problem it shouldn't go more than uh, this little little uh, wiggle there one and a half inch kind of play so like if it's the center then it, it's just like this so one and a half inch it shifts right about about that not even one inch so now uh, after changing everything the steering is you might find steering is still a bit stiff on and off so start the car and when it's on idle like this right now it's on idle about seven eight hundred rpm and it's tight it's going it's actually not that bad today oh here is tight here is tight uh, not so bad now there's tight here is very tight so as soon as there's some uh, stress, as I'm turning more and more, it's getting tighter. And some days it wouldn't even move from the center, like it's very tight. So it is on neutral right now. So put the vehicle on neutral. And I put the vehicle on neutral and now I rev it. Make sure, uh, sorry, not on neutral, in park. Put the vehicle on park and <clears throat> Then I rev it to 2000 RPM, for example, 2000, 2500, whatever, a little higher RPM. Now I do the same thing and it's a lot easier. It's a lot easier, all the way it went, a lot easier. Oh, and the high, higher the RPM, the easier it is, right? A lot easier. Now it's tight. As soon as I let it go, now it doesn't want to go anymore. In. okay now it's nice so that tells is the power steering pump that's worn out the shaft they have there or prop it's worn out to the point that the power steering fluid is leaking by the way you have to have a Honda power steering fluid first of all newer fluid the older fluid uh, lost viscosity and it can leak out easily give you bad uh, uh, less power now with this said to replace the power steering pump you can always pick one from from the used uh, auto auto recyclers and then and then uh figure uh you know try that it's a lot cheaper easier comes with the pulley installed but I have done that. This one already has the used pump, which all, again came with, it, it, it actually worked for a while, but then then it started giving this problem again. Uh, it lasted a couple of years, but the vehicle I picked it up from also had high mileage, so it doesn't make sense. I bought one from, uh, from Amazon or so, and that's uh, the brand new one. It's a brand new one, not rebuilt. And this was only like $150 or so. So given the effort, I think that's well worth uh, changing the power steering pump. But this didn't come with the pulley installed, of course, without pulley. So I'll, 
I'll not show how to do it probably uh, the whole thing I'll just describe it how to do it and because uh, it's very difficult to hold camera and do this whole thing so now let's go under the hood I shut, I shut it down by the way it could be also rack and pinion so if you flush it and there's no play then it's power steering pump most likely so I shut it down now let's go under the hood So this is the under the hood and there's the power steering pump here. So all we have to do is 10 millimeters, take these two screws out and then wiggle it. This is the pressure line, high pressure line, wiggle it and take it off. Disconnect this, use the pliers to pull it back, the clip and disconnect this uh, hose which is the return line. And then there, uh, then you have to take this belt off. To be able to take this belt off, there's a 19 millimeter, 18 or 19 millimeter that you need right down there. I showed in other videos how to do it. Right down here. Hard to see from here. I'll try to bring it there. That's it, that's the one. That uh, hex there with the center, there's a hole at the center, that that thing. So I think it's 19 millimeter. Uh, use a breaker bar, long, long hand handle. And then uh, pull it that way. Release the belt. Release the belt of the idler, idler pulley down there. Down there. So then the belt is released. There are two bolts holding this power steering pump. Only two. One is this one right here. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's 13 millimeters. So this one is easy. The other one is tough. Right down there. Okay. right here you can you can access it either through one of these holes if your pulley has a hole no not through that actually it's right right from underneath so you need a short extension with a ratchet short extension with the ratchet take those two bolts off power steering pump comes off change the pulley this is the center uh, bolt just jam the pulley don't let it move and take this take, take this bolt off i think it's 15 16 uh, or 18 millimeters most likely take it off but then you have to use a pulley puller to pull the pulley out use a pulley puller and crank it put the center of the puller here crank it the pulley will come off you can do that on the table outside once the power pump is out easier then take that off put the new pulley in i mean not new pulley they put this pulley in the new pump so press that in i find that if i heat up the pulley a little bit so it expands then i push it in then it's, it's easier better and then uh, put the belt on reconnect this and that and make sure the um, Reservoir is uh, up to the max Cold max cold like here when it's cold If it's a hot like right now, it's up to here So this is uh, what I have done to To release the serpentine belt. I use the breaker bar like this with uh, 19 millimeter that socket is 19 millimeter right down there. I pull it this way. See that the the idler pulley moves, and then just slide the belt off. And this is the 12 
millimeter deep I used to take off those um, power steering bolts. Once I released it, I went this one, the lower one, tougher one, from this side, not from the other, other side. Other side will be very tough to access. From this side, right here is the bolt. It does work. Trust me, it works. Uh, deep socket you need 12 millimeter top one was easy at the back although I had to use a pipe to put it on this uh, on this one it gives you better higher torque to crank it open because it's very tight now I'll take the pump off so took, the, <coughs> took the pump out it's fairly easy. You see, say the two bolts only for uh, zero five and and newer, up to ten or forty or something like that. This is the back of it. Four bolts if you want to change gasket here. If pump is otherwise good, but uh, first of all, oil. as I said, that it was changed before, did not work. Looks like it's not working. I'm not going to throw it yet. Let's see. Let's take this pulley off. This is the new one. Match it. Looks like exactly the same. One bolt here, one bolt there. Now with this one, you have to take this. Uh, now it came with the pipe. Yeah, it's all good, same. Let's put the high pressure line here. That's it, take the cap off and put the high pressure line. And this guy, take it off and we install uh, this one, this pulley there, press fit probably, we'll see. So I took this bolt off, it's a 18, uh, sorry, 19 millimeter. I actually used an impact, so I could hold it with my hand and zoop, it comes off. Very easy. Uh, now I was thinking that you have to use a pulley puller to take it out. It's not actually, it uh, comes off easily. It was not even, it's just uh, like this. So I'll show you this. So look at this. If it's not too rusted, if it's not too rusted, then it'll come off easily anyway. It's just uh, gears, teeth there, like this. So I'll put a little bit of grease in that before I put it back into the, into the other one. Okay. So install the new power steering pump as you see tighten these bolts push it in nicely it's best to push a put a new seal there if you have and uh, the back bolt and the front bolt in and this is back on fluid level is a bit higher now because it's gonna go down as soon as I start I lost some fluid there right so uh, I recheck the fluid level after a while anyway now uh, uh, this is the time if you want to change the serpentine belt change it the toughest part of this work was actually to put the serpentine belt back on it's not easy you compress it and then anyway it worked so now we'll start it nicely started fluid level is right at the cold Full full level. Sounds nice. I'll try the power steering now. Judgment time, really, because I'm gonna see if. Uh... Whoa! Nice and smooth. I'm doing it with one hand. Nicely. It was not working before. 
Uh, I seriously, I didn't even expect this. I thought it's gonna be rack and pinion or something. Look how nicely it's going. And the car is on asphalt, it's not uh, with br brand new tires. So before it was all stuck and stuck. Right now, boom. Ooh. Unbelievable how smooth it is. I'm actually regretting not doing this before because it hurt my arm and shoulder and uh, whatnot. Now it's uh, so nice and smooth. So share and subscribe and uh, for more interesting videos. You see this uh, door is open, Honda this is uh, sliding door is open, this light. So I'll show you how to resolve it uh, in one of the future videos. So stay, stay tuned, okay? Uh, there are a few reasons why it, uh, it happens with the power sliding doors. I'll uh, show you, okay?